this is cooked wild rice. in there and then what, I'm gonna, what I've done is I've blended the walnuts sorry not walnuts the Brazil nuts I've blended the Brazil nuts let me, let me just finish adding the rice before I, I speak because I want to uh, get the sound of me messing around with this to end up you hearing me okay cool so start by adding the wild rice and then I add the blended Brazil nut um, and date mixture that was the runny one and then I got another one which is slightly thicker that I want to add to this which is this one that's the thicker one uh, that's, that's Brazil nuts and dates watered down version of the Brazil nuts and dates. Brazil nut milk. And then add a little bit just so for it to cook. Yaman! The dates right now. So these are the chopped dates. Yeah. Walnuts, crush them. Add them now. Add the banana. Coconut sugar. Now I'm adding nutmeg. Already put cinnamon in there. Now I'm adding some nutmeg.
add some more date and Brazil nut cream to the porridge to make it nice and thick and also to sweeten it. Oh, that tastes awesome. Look, look at that. Look how, oh, makes it look amazing. I'm telling you, listen, date, Brazil nut, milk, best milk you can make. You can make a nice cream, um, nice cream from it, nice and thick. You can use it to dress your, your, your desserts and stuff like that. Hey, you're not ready. You're not ready. I'm telling you right now. You are not ready. want it just a little bit thicker so now that winter's here I want to sort of um, swap my smoothies juicing for something hot warm hearty um, still packs a punch in nutritionally and full of minerals so I stick I, I turn to brown rice not brown rice <laughs> wild rice wild rice uh, I can use spelt I can use kamut I can use um, Aramanth, I can use uh, Tef, I can use Forneo, maybe not Forneo, uh, but Tef definitely. And I, I, I'm, I'm making porridge here. All you can turn around and say it's rice pudding if, and you can have it in the evening because it tastes like dessert anyway, it's so good. Listen, this, this recipe here, you can use it with anything and you can use different kinds of fruit. Now, I've done this before with apple and I like to sort of season my apple with cinnamon and nutmeg and just let it sit for a bit so that the cinnamon and the nutmeg soaks into the apple and then I'll add it to my porridge and then let it soften and cook right through. I'm telling you, and if you get a tangy apple, oh my gosh, the sweetness from the, um, from the dates the tanginess from the apple, the bite from the walnuts and the rice. And if you add um, two types of dates, majul, which I use to blend with the Brazil nuts to make my thick, creamy um, milk um, that I add to this, which is what, what, what you can see now, which is thickening this and it's giving it that, that milky type uh, texture. Uh, I, don't, I don't use oat milk, I don't use any of that. So I, I blend walnuts with dates to give it a little bit of sweetness. And then I'll just add it to that and that will be my, my milk basically my milk substitute when I tell you the taste is just out of this world this porridge right here this porridge right here this porridge right here hey listen you're not ready call it rice pudding whatever you want to call it banging wait till I dress it all right let's check on this bad boy see how it's doing it's been simmering now for half an hour oh yes that's what I want that's the thickness I'm looking for Yes, yes, creamy, thick. Oh yes, this is what I want. Yeah, this is ready. Nice and thick. That's the consistency you're looking for right there. That's it. A little bit thicker will be even better. So it's like really sticky, but I don't want it to be um, uh, too dry, if that makes sense. I want it to be nice and porridge-like creaminess to it because it's the rice it's, it's not as sticky as um, if I was to use kamut grain or if I was to use spell it'll be like a proper porridge if I was to use spell and it'll come out really amazing but I tell you what the smell uh, I can't wait to eat this 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 is gonna be so good um, I'm so excited right I'm gonna turn off the heat boom let's eat all right let's dish this bad boy oh my gosh Cold mornings, I cycle into work, and uh, I cycle into work. It's cold, it's raining, I'm wet, I'm soaked right through. It is absolutely freezing out there, and I want something hot, delicious, and packed full of nutrients, energy. So when I get back on the bike in the afternoon, all the energy that I've just spent cycling into work, I wanna replenish all that energy. So this is how I do it. And then when them dudes are trying to keep up and they can't keep up, this is why, because I eat really well. 
uh, they're eating oats. I'm eating wild rice, packed full of nutrients. My body recognizes uh, wild rice. It's got no starch. It is the original grain as nature intended. This is this is it. I'm telling you, this is this is this is. So excited! I'm so excited! I can't wait to try this one. This is a different recipe. I usually use apple with my with my other recipe. It's normally apple, but this time I, I thought I'll try it with banana. Um, and I don't I don't usually put fruit in there, but I thought this time around I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of fruit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Only thing I, I usually add, like I said, is apple. Um, but yeah, let's try it with. A bit of fruit like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 